So uh, we have uh, Bob Wyborn coming all the way from Australia. So a big round of applause for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that just means. Which one's for what? Okay. Thank you very much. I'd just like to spend a few minutes talking about Work Group 4, um, whose main aim is, to, is the dissemination of ALD-related um, information and also patient engagement. And uh, I'll just learn to work this. That's the list of the uh, Work Group 4 people, which is very ably guided by Alex Sherman. Uh, and I hope that I haven't omitted anyone there. I hope everyone's involved. The W, the work group for, um, I'll catch up with this in a minute, I'm sorry about that. The work group for objectives are the development of ALD AMN information to produce patient-centred care resource material, to improve the availability of this information, to generate patient-centred research, to disseminate all that gathered knowledge and to optimise patient care, quantify patient costs and establish best pathways for clinical care. And our accomplishments are as follows. I've gone one too many, I'm sorry. We've held five webinars to date. Um, the introduction to ALD, I just got diagnosed, now what? Genetics and reproductive options newborn screening and implementation, and of course the recently very successful ALD Save the Boys summer campaign. Future webinars will include such topics as your walking aids and devices, assistive, assistive communica communication devices, exercise and mobility equipment and programs, medical equipment, home care, car modification and symptomatic treatments. From those webinar, webinars, we've developed some resource material. So there's been a series of um, one pages have been developed um, and they're available for all interested people in the ALD family. And all we ask is that you acknowledge ALD Connect and of course, leave the logo on there, please. And they're on the ALD Connect website for downloading. There's been, we've been involved with the improvement of the website. So there's been a change to design and the management system, which has allowed um, for easier embedding of uh, videos and documents. Um, there's been the addition of a shopping cart to assist in fundraising, campaign support and sale of product. And it's now more functional and user friendly. Social media and messaging has been improved. Um, and particularly due to the, uh, to the system of um, constant, contact, uh, constant contact, you know, we're sending out weekly updates. So people have a far, um, readily, uh, have a far better system to find out what we're doing. Our emails have dramatically increased, as you can see. Um, and thanks to a very dedicated board member uh, and his wife, they're now monitoring Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn and you know the graph shows the dramatic increase there from what it was as a result of their assistance. Newborn screening, um, which has just been uh, very ably referred to. Um, there's been life-changing successful work by Elisa Seeger and her team in New York where it was where it is now in vogue. Jean Kelly and her great team in Connecticut have got it to the I've got it right to the line, and it's just a matter of some, some signing off there. Patty Chapman, Janice Sherwood and teams in California with a start date that's fairly imminent. The great news of late, of course, has been the recommended uniform screening panel, or RUSP. And that's been a very long and lengthy project, um, and it's had ALD admitted as a chosen disorder of significance. And as we know, it was successful on the 27th of August. And one of the great things is also that there's been funding provided in that for implementation and tracking purposes. 
and we're simply waiting, as I understand, for the formal sign-off by the Secretary of Health and Human Services. And that success was due to the perseverance, uh, additional critical uh, critical data that was obtained, you know, from the New York experience and the honouring of our uh, ALD children by such groups as ALD Connect, Stop ALD, Brian's Hope, the Aidan Jack Seeger Foundation, Fight ALD, the Ethan Zakes Foundation, Bluebird Bio, Ann Moser and Keith Van Harren and so many, many more. The success of us will really play a major role in convincing other states to, you know, to add ALD to their screening panels. And the fact that there will be funding for implementation tracking and existing, and we have existing established testing protocols and enormous industry support are very great positives. That's a brief overlook at the map of the USA and where, where we're at. I've put Connecticut in there as being through uh, with New York the yellow states are the states that show that success is fairly imminent. And of course, the ones that are in, in grey are the ones that we're all wanting to target now. But I think that's a pretty impressive map. So once again, I'd really like to acknowledge the enormous amount of work by, by Ann Moser and Keith and all the many, many other people that who I haven't named and, and that's not intent. But that map, as I said, is very, very impressive. A quick update on other parts of the world. The United Kingdom is working very well towards it. The Netherlands has just been mentioned, you know, is, is now screening. Um, and in Australia, we're creating a national screening policy. Uh, so we we'll, won't have this problem of going state to state. Uh, and it, I'm told just before I left that it's, expect, it's expected to be in place by mid next year. And uh, I was talking to Dr. Veronica Wiley, who's a principal science for newborn screening in the Westmead Hospital in New South Wales. And she's also the president of the International Society for Neonatal Screening. And she's um, committed to assist me in getting, promoting this and getting it through. So I'm quite confident. There's been a lot of collaboration um, on work group four between ALD, AMN Global Alliance the Global Alliance Task Force, the Patient Experience Project, and of course Bluebird Bio. And that's concentrated around physician and endocrine awareness, um, school, nurture, psych school nurses, psychologists, teachers, uh, and parents outreach, and of course the Save the Boys campaign. That's a brief overview, um, and some of those timelines aren't quite as exact as, the, as they seem there, They've, some of them changed a little, but that's the enormous amount of work that's going on with, you know, with, P, you know, with PEP. So, you know, that endocrinology, the logo, the, the red flag flyer, the slide deck, um, the infographic, the video, the microsite, which is extraordinarily important, um, and then, of course, our uh, distribution of emails and, um, you know, through to professional people. Bluebird Bio, um, this really is a very progressive, inclusive and extremely, you know, proactive biotech company and it's significantly in assisting us, you know, in the victory over ALD. And their collaboration with ALD Connect, PEP, the AAGA task force, the medical and allied professions is playing a very productive role in, it, in all our joint efforts. A quick overview. Um, have a look at you know what I'm just referring to, the enormous work that's going on on that endocrinology work group, the KOLs, you know the healthcare professional work, and of course the advocacy work which ALD Connect and Bluebird Bio um, are playing a significant role. The AAGA task force has helped produce uh, the ACT brochure, which was. Del, you know, ACT standing for Absences, Change and TAN uh, and that was produced, you know, for education in, you know, in the schools and teachers and parents uh, and the like. And the five one pages that I referred to before from those webinars, you know, have come out and they are what is ALD, how is it inherited, 
what are the symptoms of ALD, what can I do to stay healthy, and our current medical therapies. The patient portal, which will be referred to more by others, um, is a real radical idea because it involves patients, families, doctors and researchers working together as equal partners. And that collation with the doctors and the researchers will really shape the direction that, you know, research and care goes in. And for the first time in the history of ALD, the members' experiences, concerns and ideas take centre stage. The patient portal, another brilliant um, project. Um, from work group four's point of view, we've helped with content and feedback and some of the editing sides of things. Um, we're promoting the portal through our global websites um, and we achieved 200 members within the first month of it being launched. And I just want to leave you with this saying you know, by one of your myopic Missouri farmers who said it is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Yeah.